It is a tantalizing notion for a weight-obsessed America. What if there was one pill that would radically suppress your appetite and help you shed pounds? Sounds like a classic too-good-to-be-true scenario, but fans of this new pill, which is already being called the magic bullet, say it's real and it works. If you want it, though, you're going to have to go abroad. So we sent Fusion's chief investigative correspondent, Mariana Van Zeller, to Mexico. Nice to meet you. Hi, Kim. How are you? Oh, my God. The devil. Oh, okay. At 330 pounds, 48-year-old Kimmy G says she is never full. Uh, yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, but I did eat one before that. We're not going to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> She's tried every diet, every weight loss regime. Still, nothing seems to work. And in another sunny suburb of Los Angeles, we met Dr. Daisy Markley. I gained 10 pounds after getting married. I gained, you know, 20 pounds after having a baby. So I feel like I've got 30 pounds that have just has not moved since I was in my, you know, my 20s. But both women recently heard of a new capsule, a magic bullet, to help in their fight to lose weight. One that claims the kind of results that so far only invasive surgery has produced. And it's not just for the severely overweight. Are you nervous? Um, I think I'm excited. You I'm, are? I'm just excited because I don't want to have the gastric bypass or lap band. You know, I am heavy. Why not? I, because I feel like cutting your stomach is not really the issue. You know, the issue's right here. <laughs> That's the main issue, just kind of a jump start. Or in Kimmy's case, a restart. This is when I won Plus Model of the Year. And I a few years ago, cool. she was a successful plus-size model, even appearing in the movie Fat Girls. Her goal is to lose about 60 pounds, nothing more. <laughs> so you would like to go back to modeling? Yes, I think it would be great. I still was heavy, I still was thick, but I felt better and I can move around better and wear the clothes. Mm -hmm. So that's what your plan is then? That's my plan. But the plan isn't that simple. What is making you nervous? Jump in the border. We're going over there. I mean, this is I, this is exciting. I mean, I'm going to a different country to get the procedure, which I never thought I would be doing. You, you haven't been able to eat for what, like 12 hours. 12 hours, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's worth it. It's worth yeah. it. The capsule isn't available yet in the U.S., so patients like Kimmy and Daisy must drive across the Mexican border to Tijuana, Mexico, a bustling city with a rap for violence and crime. So this is it. This is the border. No way. Yep. Are you serious? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Every year, thousands of Americans cautiously flock there in search of cut-rate medical care. The capsule is a controversial device called Obolon. Once it enters the stomach, it is inflated quickly into a small balloon. Patients feel full immediately. Oh my God, here you go. Oh my God. We finally arrive at oh the God. Obesity Control Center in Tijuana, where Kimmy meets a new friend. Is it painful? No. Gloria is a Tijuana native. She took the Obolon pill three months ago and has already lost 25 pounds. Both women are here to meet this man, Dr. Ariel Ortiz a Mexican surgeon who was born and raised in Tijuana. So the morning starts pretty early. Obolon paid him to help research the capsule. Now, if you ask me what's the benefit of working in Mexico is that I get to decide the quality of health care I provide to my patients. Look at that. He lives in San Diego, but every day he heads to his clinic in Tijuana, where 70% of his patients are American. His staff fields more than 100 phone calls a day from patients wanting to know more about the balloon pill. Buenos dias. How's everybody doing? Most of them are American as well. So we're going into the operating room right now. And they come to him not only for the capsule. Let's do this. All right. But for other treatments that are approved mm -hmm. in the U.S., but cheaper here in Mexico. Patients like Kimmy will save thousands of dollars by getting the balloon, which goes for about $4,000 a fraction of what a gastric bypass surgery goes for. It's very intrusive, obviously, and I wouldn't want to go through this. I agree. I believe one day what we are doing now is going to be seen as barbaric. And there's another crucial difference. Daisy? Unlike gastric bypass, the pill isn't just for the morbidly obese. This is a device, okay? I'm going to give you a capsule. The pill comes with its own set of strict guidelines. This is exactly the size of the balloon that you're going to have. Patients won't be able to eat solid foods for the first three days, 
And for the 12 weeks, they have to commit to working out 90 minutes a day. You're going to be losing weight and you're going to be losing fast. Once Daisy starts to eat food, she won't be able to eat more than a small plate of food a day. They have to be whole foods and brown rice, wild rice. The capsule is so new that there is no consensus yet in the American medical community about it, but plenty of intrigue. I'd have to say, sounds interesting, I want to know more. See, bariatric surgery is very effective, but it really ought to be a last resort. Good. Dr. David Katz teaches weight management at the Yale Griffin Prevention Research Center. He says sustaining weight loss after the pill comes out is a concern. The stomach is a hormone-producing organ. And bariatric surgery actually influences the production of a hormone called ghrelin, and that's part of the effect of the surgery. Does the balloon do that? Can it rival the effects of surgery? What happens when the balloon goes away? Because the effects of the surgery, for the most part, are permanent. And if you have a balloon put in your stomach to make you eat less and you lose weight, are you then dependent on that balloon for the rest of your life? Okay, listo. Se lo quieres entregar tú o se lo entrego yo? Back in Mexico, we check in with Daisy and Kimmy as they get ready to swallow the capsule both on different ends of the weight loss spectrum, one who needs gastric bypass, and the other who could easily lose 30 pounds with just diet and exercise. Don't force the swallow, regular swallow, okay. and it has to go down nice and okay? okay? Went through? Mm -mm. Okay. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> Still there? The string okay. is weird. <laughs> yeah. She tries again. It went through? Mm -hmm. Perfect, okay. Wait a little bit. Now it's Kimmy's turn. And there you see the bubble inflating in Kimmy's stomach. See that half moon right there? Mm -hmm. And Kimmy was, well, pretty happy. The pill is supposed to be removed after three months. Remember Gloria? She has had the balloon in her stomach for four months already. So the doctor might want to remove the balloon, but you want to keep it? I want to keep it, yeah. yeah. Maybe one more month. Gloria gets good news. <laughs> We wanted to remove the balloons today, but we're going to give you a little bit more time. OK. <laughs> OK. You happy? Yeah, really happy. All right. If the balloon wasn't there, ooh, Lord, I would have ate my boob off. Over the next few weeks, Daisy and Kimmy kept video diaries to let us in on their progress. Well, it's the end of week two, beginning of week three. I lost a total of 14 point whatever pounds. I have lost about five pounds so far. After 30 days, Daisy has lost almost 10 pounds. Usually, uh, probably like this much will kind of settle my stomach and um, you know, kind of keep me going. And Kimmy, a whopping 22 pounds. I went through Easter. Um, I'm not gonna lie, that ham was damn good, okay? And I did sneak some pieces. And when the balloons come out in two months, we'll be there to see if they're able to keep the weight off. For Nightline, I'm Mariana Van Zeller in Tijuana, Mexico.